What's up guys, I'm DJ Avionics, and if you're trying to go live on Instagram using OBS Studio, stay tuned. So my personal objective is to be able to go live on Instagram DJing um, in front of a green screen and having the music videos that I mix behind me and then shrink me as a little picture in picture type effect in the bottom left corner with my logo below everything and a backdrop for the vertical layout just any kind of general um, nightclub scene backdrop and then but also having the audio playing clear as day for the audience first of all you're gonna need two obvious things you're gonna need Serato DJ Pro and you're gonna need mix emergency and the latest versions of these two I'm using my RAIN 72 mixer, and in order for OBS to capture your audio from the 72, I have to use a USB audio interface. The one I'm using is the portable Behringer model. The next two applications you'll need are as follows, but I will also link them down in the description below. So all of this is going to be done on Mac, OS computers, um, not Windows, so just want to let you know. So first you'll need to go to obsproject.com and download OBS Studio and then download the Mac OS version. And then after that, you'll go ahead and download Yellow Duck TV or uh, yellowduck.tv and just download for Mac. Go ahead and install both programs. So this is how I have my Instagram Live set up. I have my Instagram Live scene and then all the sources in the scene. The bottom layer is the image of the lights. The next layer is the mix emergency main output window. Next is the video capture device uh, that has me, which is the next layer up or in front. And then the audio input capture from the Rain 72 and the USB audio interface. And then my logo is the next layer on top or in front. And then this one is just a text. It's a text layer that is all the way in the front. Um, I'll just leave that off for now, but that's how I have my Instagram Live scene set up for OBS. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is set up your scene. We're gonna go ahead and start a brand new slate. So I'm gonna hit the plus sign down here and we'll just leave it scene two for now, titled scene two. So now next you're going to want to install your sources. You don't have any sources, click the plus button below or right click here to add one. When setting up your sources and their order, think of them as layers with whatever is at the bottom will be visible all the way in the back and whatever is the top layer will be visible all the way in the front as far as visual type sources. You can drag and drop your layers in order once it's all set up. So I'm going to go ahead and click the plus. And here you have all these different options. You have audio input capture, audio output capture, browser, color source, display capture, image, so on and so forth. So like I said, mine was an image first with the, with the nightclub lights. So basically image, and then you, you can label it, create new here, and then click OK. And then basically you're gonna wanna browse where the image file is. So click the browse button, go to your pictures, and then here I have my Stage Music Nightclub wraparound file. And then click OK. I'm just going to simply drag and drop, or I'm sorry, drag and click and drag the corners to transform the image. And then you can just drag it around the screen and pretty much try and center it as much as possible. So next we're going to add the Mix Emergency main output window. So click the plus sign and then click on Window Capture and then go ahead and call it Mix Emergency. Click OK. My name is already in use. OK. I'll just name it ME. Hit the OK button. And then here, click the drop down window menu here, window. And you're going to want to scroll down and find Mix Emergency. Oh, let me go ahead and turn that on. Turn the app on. Double click ME. Drop down the menu. Here we go, Mix Emergency. We want the master output. Okay, so then click OK. 
and then we're gonna simply drag this towards the middle for now we'll have to resize this in a little bit make sure we have the correct dimensions for Instagram lives vertical layout so next we want our video capture device which is the webcam the webcam I'm using is the Logitech C920 I will have an Amazon affiliate link down below in the description if you're looking to purchase one. So click the plus sign, click video capture device, and create new, and then label it, hit OK, and then choose your device in the drop down. Here we have the C922 ProStream web webcam, and then there we go. And uh, we'll just keep it at 1280 by 720. Click the OK button, and we're going to want to resize this one and like I said bottom left corner you can put it anywhere we'll go ahead and put it put me right in the middle we'll resize it and kind of line everything up just like that next we're gonna have to get rid of the green screen by using the chroma key so um, you right click on video capture device 2 which is your camera go to filters go down here to effect filters add um, click the plus sign and click chroma key and just hit OK and now it automatically took out your green screen. Hit close. So now whatever shows up behind us will be a nice and transparent with the background. I'm going to go ahead and move it to the corner because my laptop kind of just cuts off there. Kind of want everything looking pretty legit. Next we're going to add our audio input capture device which is the Behringer USB audio interface card. So click the plus sign audio input capture, label it, click OK, click the drop down device menu and choose USB. For this particular model Behringer it shows up as USB audio codec. So click that, click OK, and now we have our audio input. Now let's add our logo. That's the next layer, our next source, so click the plus sign, add. We're going to add another image. Go ahead and label it. Click OK. Browse for your file. There it is. Click OK. OK, and you're going to want to resize this. So click on your source to uh, select that file and then resize it by clicking and dragging the transform corners. This file is really huge. So we'll, we'll make it that small. Kind of centered as best as possible. And that's pretty much adding all your sources. So next you want to click OBS in the menu bar and click preferences. And then you're going to want to click on stream. And then if you click the drop down menu for service, you'll notice that if you click on show all, it shows a lot of different uh, servers to where you where you can live cast. Uh, you got your Facebook Live, you have YouTube, you have YouNow. The only thing is Instagram isn't on here for some reason, and that's where Yellow Duck comes in for a crucial clutch move. So you're gonna want to do custom. Click custom. So go ahead and open up the Yellow Duck app, and here's where you want to sign into your Instagram. So you basically just type in your credentials and then you hit login and start. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. So now it's logging in. It usually takes about 20 to 30 seconds to get in and logged in for some reason. So now here are your two next steps. You're gonna to wanna to copy the RTMP URL by clicking on the copy button here. Copy to the clipboard, go back into OBS and paste or command V for the server and then go back to Yellow Duck and copy the stream key which is hidden. Go ahead and click the copy to keyboard button. Go back to OBS, go ahead and paste that, command V and then you click OK. And then from here you just click on start streaming and then you can test it out, see how it looks on your phone. go back into OBS and then you're going to want to basically do what I have here where I have everything kind of measured into the vertical layout. So that's everything that's going to show up in vertical layout. And I will demonstrate real quick 
with Mixed Emergency, a video file playing in the background with some music. And here's everything working. I don't ha I'm not live streaming right now, but basically this is how everything is running uh, when you set up everything properly. Now the scene is automatically saved, so every time you want to just go live, you just open up OBS Studio, open up Yellow Duck, and then um, drop down the preferences, go into stream. Server name was always going to be the same, but stream key is always going to be different. So log into your Yellow Duck, and then copy and paste the stream key, hit OK, and then you can just basically click start streaming, and you are live on Instagram, mixing music videos, with Serato DJ Pro and Mix Emergency on Mac. That's pretty much it. Just keep an eye on your OBS Studio statistics in the lower right hand corner of the interface. A green square means you have a great connection to your Wi Fi, a yellow square means an, you have an OK connection, and then a red square obviously means you're about to be disconnected. If my tutorial helped you at all, I truly would appreciate you hitting that like button. I'm sure there will be some questions, so go ahead, feel free to ask them below in the comment section. And please hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you can be notified of any future videos that might be of interest to you. See you guys next time.